Okay, the question tells us that x is y percent of x squared. Now we can turn this into an equation by rewriting y percent as y over 100. At this point, we can divide both sides of our equation by x, and now we can multiply both sides by 100. So this tells us that x times y must equal 100. Now if x and y are both positive integers, then x and y can have the following sets of values. Now if we keep in mind that x and y are also greater than 5, we must eliminate almost all of our sets of values except for 1. So this tells us that x must equal 10, in which case column A is equal to column B, which means our answer must be C.